Todas las pinches pinchas. Um, hey guys, I just flopped quads and my opponent just open jammed all in on me. And while I tank and try not to laugh to get the player behind me to call as well, let me just explain to you guys that this isn't a regular game. There's much more on the line this night. What is seven of the robbery? That's 211, my bad. Open shell and a six. And Valdez, why is your poker etiquette so bad right now? And who the hell are you even laughing at? Well, let me explain. This is so amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, oh, <laughs> my <laughs> 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 Jeanette, one day, Jeanette, Jeanette, I told you. Welcome back to the channel guys. I just filmed yesterday and here we are filming again. I wanted to get an early intro in because I have to stay ahead of my opponent all night. That's the goal. I know some of you guys are wondering, opponent? What do you mean opponent? My opponent for tonight is Scotty. This is my opponent for tonight. He's on the way up here now for an early intro, but what he doesn't know is that I'm already doing an early, early intro before he even gets here. So, so Scotty is my opponent tonight. Scotty rides motorcycles just like me. We actually have the same motorcycle. I have two motorcycles. Uh, Scotty has a motorcycle as well. If you don't know how to ride motorcycles, you would know that if you follow me on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Should be a link in the description and I'll put a picture of my profile right here. So anyway, Scotty's on the way and Scotty's gonna start a YouTube channel. Scotty's gonna start a vlog. So the, the link to his vlog will also be in the description. But anyway, the thing for tonight is I have to win more money than Scotty. We're going to play five hours. You can buy it for whatever you want. The profit, I have to profit more than Scotty after five hours. No exceptions. If I don't profit more than Scotty after five hours, I will have to look like this at the poker table. Full gear, helmet, jacket, pants, and boots. Full motorcycle gear. Whoever wins the least amount of money has to be in full motorcycle gear for a whole session, five hours straight. So after this session tonight, you only get one night. This is one night. We clocking in at the same time. We're playing for the same amount of time. If you want to play after the five hours, you can, but we're both cashing out after the five hour mark. So after the five hour mark, if you want to keep playing, you can buy back in. But the, the challenge ends after five hours. So whoever wins the least amount of money after five hours, the very next session, which will be the next episode, they have to come and play a full session in full motorcycle gear. The only thing you can have up is your goddamn visor everything else helmet on jacket on pants on boots on and he don't want to lose to me because i'm gonna clown him the whole the whole session i might not even try to win money that session the whole next episode would just be me clowning him for 30 minutes straight but anyway i'm locked in for those y'all that know about my superstition from the first episode I, I did i did all the superstition shit today like normally i only wear my locked in earrings after a big win so I can stay locked in. But today, I wore my locked in earrings because I'm playing some of the best poker of my life today. Like, I'm not playing no games. Every hand matters. I cannot lose to Scotty. I would not be in the hangar poker house with no motorcycle suit on. Y'all not gonna be clowning me in the comments. That will be Scotty. Next episode, I will be clowning Scotty for having to wear a motorcycle outfit for 30 minutes straight. So anyway, we're gonna continue this intro when Scotty gets here. But this was just the intro to the intro. All right, now let's get to where Scotty gets here. What Scotty also doesn't know is I have a new angle to humiliate him. He will be on camera and he won't even know it. I ordered the clear ones, guys, so you guys can still see my eyes. But yes, this is the third camera angle that I was telling you guys about. So I will have three angles on my vlog now, but I wanted the clear ones so you guys can still see my eyes. I'll use the shade ones just so I can have the angle for this video. 
But um, yeah, we'll have Scotty in 4K. Y'all be able to see him as he donks off all his money trying to beat me. But look, uh, let's get to when Scotty gets here. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. What up? Got my boy Scotty with me. AKA Slim Shady, AKA, AKA Scotty Gamble. Hey, hey, and this is Ryan's brother from the second episode. Ryan, come on, man, you supposed to be my boy. I mean, we were just kicking shit at your crib last week. And now you skipping the pot pre-flop and raising me on the river, bro? That's crazy. This is Ryan's blood brother. So if y'all remember Ryan from the second episode, this is Ryan's brother. So anyway, we got something new today. We got some high stakes on the line. You wanna you wanna explain it? You want me to It's gonna be the challenge. Go ahead. All right. Mm. So the challenge is me and me and Scotty both ride motorcycles. We both ride motorcycles. If you don't know that I ride motorcycles, then you need to follow my Instagram, which is right here. But anyway, we both ride motorcycles. So actually I have the same exact motorcycle. But we both ride motorcycles and we came up with a bet. We said, you know what? We're gonna play one session, five hours, no, not a second over, and then whoever profits the least has to look like this at the poker table. <laughs> whoever profits the least has to be in full motorcycle gear at the poker table the very next session. So helmet, yes. Uh, jacket, yes. Pants, yes. Motorcycle pants, not boots. jeans. Boots, yes. The only thing you can have up is your visor, but you have to keep it on for the whole five hours straight. So next episode, you guys will have the pleasure of seeing me clown Scotty <laughs> for having to wear nah. his motorcycle uniform for the whole episode. <laughs> I'm gonna do y'all a favor. I'm gonna let y'all watch him wear his motorcycle. No, 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 no. For you the think next I'm, session. They talk, they talk about me enough. You think I'm gonna let them? I'm gonna do you all. You think I'm gonna let them see me like that? No way. A big favor. I'm locked in. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. You Go, go, you know what? Go ahead. Tell right. me strategy. Let me see this. Let me see this. All right. Look, hey, we can't let him know what the strategy is, right? But we got a plan because I want all you guys to see him have to play an entire session in his gear. And I'm going to show up when he's playing in his gear. And you know damn well I'm going to talk shit, okay? So if I'm losing on the session, then I'm going to play more aggressive against Valdez because it's basically double against him. If I win the pot, he loses the pot. So if I'm down and I need some, I need to win, win some hands, I'm going to be getting loose and aggressive. But if I'm up, I'm playing tight. I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting out of line. If I'm up, I, I have to make him claw back. So that's, that's what we're going. So while y'all are watching, you know, the session tonight, just know if I'm down, my three bets might be a little wide tonight. It, it'll get fun. It'll get fun. So that's the strategy going in and. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna work let's go over a couple more rules so we don't have no misunderstandings okay so we're buying in at the same time you can buy in for whatever you want to buy in for great that's fine it's all about profit we only care about profit whoever profits more we cash out at the same time if you want to play after the five hours you can buy back in you can match the stack you can do whatever you want it's all about profit five hours that's it as far as like getting changed like you know how like if you got six on, or five on the button and somebody give you a dollar you cannot accept any money from any player the only way you can win money is, you know, the normal way, poker. Like, you cannot accept any chips. I think that's all the rules. Yeah, we do, I think we do it the right way. We'll and I'll keep, we'll keep track of everything. If, yeah. I, if I buy in for more, it all, I'll we, have everything. I'm out. not going to lie about my buy in. You know, yeah, I know yeah, you're not going to yeah. lie. So, we don't care about the buy in. We only care about the profit. Yep. So, we're going to have a camera at the cashier, and I'm going to let Scotty cash out first, and then I'll cash out second. And then we'll see the difference between what we bought in for and we'll see the profit. We'll do it like that. Yep. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cashing out a lot more. No, I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Only if he bought in for a lot more. That's the only way. <laughs> you ain't winning though, that's for sure. Look, I don't know what he said for that strategy, but that ain't gonna work. My strategy is like I gotta put all my negative energy towards him. I hope he loses every pot. I hope he gets stacked. I hope like that's my boy, but I hope he loses like five thousand dollars. Like well, he don't got to lose that much, but as long as he loses enough for me to win. Look, my strategy is I'm going to play somewhere more conservative than I previously thought. So my thing is like everything I'm playing like by the book, like the first two and a half hours, I'm not pushing the issue. Like I'm not going to bluff bad players because they don't know how to fold. I just want to play solid. If Scotty is in a pot with me, I want to make sure that I'm in the best position to win. Like I'm basically like playing the numbers. I'm not, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to play solid as fuck and just hope he crashes out. I'm gonna let him crash out. That's my strategy. My strategy is to let him try to do too much and crash out. That's my goal. Cause I know he's gonna force it more cause Scotty's a tighter player than me. So he's gonna try to force the issue. That's gonna take him out of his game. I'm gonna sit back, play solid and let him play out of his element. And that should make him a worse player. 
So that's my strategy. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to play solid. I'm going to let him play out of his element or out of his character. And let's just hope it plays out. It got to play out because I'm Valdez and I'm not going to lose. And, I'm, and my mind is not wired to lose. Like, so he's going to be in a motorcycle. On the next episode, y'all going to see him in motorcycle gear. Period. Point blank. There's no other option. Like, it's not happening. I'm not losing. It's not happening. Okay, Miss Donna, don't answer this question right now. Okay. Answer, go outside and answer by yourself. But out of me and Scotty, we have a competition today. Who do you think is going to profit the most money? Don't answer it right now. Better be go, fucking me. I will, I will not. No, no, no. It better be me. I will not watch this until it's time to edit the video. Go outside by yourself okay. and tell the people who you got. Well, just so you know, I really don't think either one of them are going to win. I'm going to take all their money. But if I had to bet... But I'm probably going to go with Valdez. He's usually a little more even kill. But Scotty can be the surprise stick of all times. He just said they're for sale. Well, I don't want one then. Coming into the first interesting hand of the night, where we look down at King Jack off in the low jack and we decide to raise it up to $50. I wanted to up my aggression and slightly up my raise sizes in later position on this night because like you guys know, this isn't a regular game. There's a lot on the line tonight. But we get one caller, and oh boy, it's the fan favorite, Miss Donna. Let's go heads up to the flop. Got a special you got like buy three, get two free. Got a special you got buy two, get, get one free. Got a special you got. <laughs> the flop comes queen, jack, nine with two spades. So we flop second pair. And Miss Donna leads right away on this flop for $75. Now there's a lot on the line tonight. And I don't want to make a living calling one of the least aggressive players at the table with second pair. If Miss Donna is betting her own hand on the flop, then I should probably fold and find a better spot. So I decide to let this one go. Oh, that's what I said. That's what I'd have told you. Wait a minute, that's, that's the same thing. I, I know. Oh, yeah, no, you did. Yeah, Oh. You're two overs with the flush draw. That's not a bluff. And a straight draw? A bluff would have been two six. Oh, fuck. That's the famous Miss Donna. Did you talk about on the blog? Is that the famous Is that the famous Miss Donna you talk about? Oh. I give her fame, then she tries to bluff me. I, did, I just bluffed him. Wow. Wait. So after I fold, Miss Donna then flips over Ace King and proudly proclaims that she bluffed me? I lie and tell her that she had the best hand to save face, but I know deep down that she did in fact bluff me. And now I'm tilted because Miss Donna has never bluffed in her entire life. And now she picks this night out of all nights to bluff me when she knows what I have at stake? Man, this is bullshit. Now I already know that she picked Scotty to beat me when she went outside. Huh, <sighs> next hand. All right, now this is Scotty's first big hand of the night. Let's pray he loses. It's called you. Let me see. Pair of tens. Two pairs. He won with two pair? Oh, man. Looks like we got some work to do. Scotty's in the lead right now. Let's try and claw back. In the next hand, we look down at ace nine of hearts in the hijack and there's been a raise to $20. We make the call along with one other player and we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes jack 10 deuce with two hearts. And when it gets checked to middle position, he decides to bet $55 on this flop. I make the call here with my nut flush draw. The big blind calls as well. And we go three ways to the turn. Oh. Bink! Let's go! It looks like all of that good luck juju I did before I came today is working. Because we don't have to wait long at all to hit the flush and turn the nuts right away. Check. My opponents check it over to me. And I decide to bet small here with the nuts. Every dollar counts tonight. And I can't have Scotty clowning me while I'm wearing a motorcycle suit. So I bet small and just pray that one of my opponents call this small bet. Oh. 
But unfortunately, both players end up folding. So we take this small pot down. This pot actually put us back in the lead against Scotty by a couple of bucks though. Let's see if we can hold him off. Next hand. <laughs> A6 suited on the button, and when it's limp to me, I raise it up to $15. Three players make the call, and we go four ways to the flop. The flop comes queen, jack, three with two diamonds, and the player in middle position leads for $35. We call on the button with the nut flush draw, and go heads up to the turn when the other players fold. <laughs> the turn is the deuce of diamonds, so we turn the nuts again, courtesy of my favorite dealer, Jeanette. And we also receive great news when our opponent shoves the rest of his chips all in. We smile at Scotty and call off the all-in right away. This hand should give us more breathing room and a bigger lead on Scotty. Let's go! I'm sure some of you guys are wondering if I have a runny nose. Because why am I making that face? Well, to answer the question, no. I don't have a runny nose. I'm just trying my hardest not to laugh because I can just envision Scotty in that motorcycle suit already. <laughs> Let's get to the next hand. And pin on Zadi to win it. In this next hand, I look down at Ace 10 of Spades and the small blind and raise it up to $30. DJ on my left makes the call along with the button, and we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes king a three rainbow with one spade and I down bet on this flop to $35 only DJ makes the call and we go heads up to the turn <laughs> Now the turn is the four of spades, so we turn the nut flush draw, and I lead on this turn card for $85. I instantly regret it when DJ raises me to $200. Now DJ is a great tournament player, but he's a notorious nit when it comes to these cash games. So now I'm kicking myself for not just checking this turn card over to him when I pick up equity. <laughs> What you got, Scotty? Quickly, quickly. 630. It's, uh, six, almost 650. But remember, I'm in for seven. I know. I eventually fold because it's not worth me chasing my flush with one card to come with so much at stake tonight. And plus, I also have a comfortable lead on Scotty at this point of the night, and I don't want to make the gap closer by getting my money in bad. I have the lead right now, so I have to make Scotty do the work to come back. DJ tells us that he had pocket eights, so that killed two of our spade outs anyway. So we minimize the damage on this one. Let's get to the next hand. <laughs> I thought y'all were gonna make me have to beat him in the hand. About someone, about time someone beat him. Yeah. I would have won if I called. <laughs> I just... Fuck, man. I've been on a bad run the last time. The first time I've seen you lose tonight. Stop, man. Who knew all I needed was DJ? Who knew? All I needed was DJ to help me out. I know I would never guess. It worked. <laughs> we might have to go get that shot after that pop, man. Help me out a little bit. Hey, man. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut, man. <laughs> I'm trying to make the blog, man. You'll never make it. <laughs> Blurring your whole body, Max Blur. <laughs> Bullshit. Crazy, man. Hey, what? <laughs>
I've been car dead for a while, so in this clip, I'm just whining for my favorite dealer the whole time while complaining to the current dealer, my boy Jonathan. Come on guys, we've all been there. No, Jonathan wants to win. My No, you. Sir, I'm a dealer. I cannot pick size. <laughs> we know who Jonathan want to see in the, in, in the motorcycle suit. Four of you. Jeanette. Please. <laughs> that just pink nuts, pink nuts. No real hard work. Do you guys have a dealer that obviously deals you better than all the other dealers or is it just me? Let's get to the next clip. Scotty is in a big hand. I hate to be that guy, but here we are again filming another big hand that Scotty is in. And my one job tonight, along with playing well myself, is to root for Scotty to lose every hand and send all of my negative energy his way. So I'm about to root for him to lose. Now let's see what happens. Please lose. Please, for the love of God. Please lose. Please lose, for the love of God. It's nothing personal. One hand, bro. It's nothing personal. One hand, bro. Hey, it's nothing personal. I need you to lose this hand. Reopen right on my number. No shot, bro. Please lose. Please, for the love of God. You're going to need a miracle about that. Lose. You're gonna need a miracle. Lose, please, lose, please, bro. Bro, lose, bro. Please lose, bro. Fuck. Please lose, man. Please lose. Come on. Fuck, man. Shoulder flush. Shoulder flush. Fuck it. Of course, it's no good. Stop slow rolling. Come on, man. Turn this shit off. Yes! Oh my god. Woo <laughs> hoo! Oh, man. Woo hoo! He's three of diamonds. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Doom zoom. <laughs> Jack, oh my God. Doom Doom, he's screwed. Hey, y'all heard my strategy. Just let him do the work. <laughs> let's go, baby. Hey, let's go. So you guys saw what just happened. We can't help but Doom Zoom Scotty when my negative energy worked and Scotty's pocket jacks lost to his opponent's queen jack off. Now this is the only scenario when your poker etiquette can be as bad as mine. The whole table knows about the bet me and Scotty have tonight, and they understand why I'm laughing. Hey, I'm Let's I'm go, man. Hey, nice hand, brother. Nice hand, bro. Nice hand, bro. Juju, Holy shit. Yeah, me, Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Queen Jack, boy. That's my. I definitely need that. Sabbath. That's my new favorite hand. In the very next hand, we look down at A6 of hearts, and the same player that just beat Scotty has raised it up to $15. I make the call, along with two other players, and we go four ways to the flop. Oh my God! Wow! Nah, 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 nah. There's just no way. The flop comes an unbelievable 666. So yes, not too long after we whine about not having our favorite dealer, we flop quads on the most important day that we could possibly flop quads. And when the initial razor and myself checks, DJ decides to lead on this flop for $50. The initial razor makes the call, along with myself of course, and we go three ways to a turn. There's just no way. Am I missing something? Or are there five sixes in this deck? <laughs> the turn is the five of clubs and the initial razor goes all in for $315. Now in real time, in this moment, I'm doing backflips in my head, 
while laughing at Scotty at the same time. I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at me, but I'm also trying my best not to laugh out loud. I mean, what a dream spot. No way this is real life, right? I mean, the very last hand, Scotty just lost his chips to this guy. And here he is giving them all to me the very next hand? You can't make this up. Now it's time for me to just hem and haw while trying not to laugh and see if DJ makes this call as well. Let's see what happens. Man, y'all in cahoots, dog. Really, really, really. Six is good, man. This is good. This is so This is amazing. Like, Everybody call, I'm like, I ain't bet no more. Me, <laughs> oh he leaves for 50. He leaves for 50. They check. They check. I got a fuck it. I got a boat. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. I had a boat. You just owe us salad. You ain't got no boat. Huh? On the river. On the river right there. Right. Yeah, on the river, you had a boat. You jammed. Oh, you jammed with everything you had. I know it was dead on the floor. I know it was. Well, both of them called and said, one of them got a six. You blur me see. out of all of that. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. blur me out of all of that. <laughs> what? So you want to be in it? Yeah. Just, just. Well, boys, we did it. <laughs> Might as well lock it they got a Motaco, man. They got a Motaco. It's locked up for sure. It's locked up for sure. Where you up? Yeah. You're screwed, bro. <laughs> Where you up? You're man? screwed, bro. It's over. It's I'm over. I'm going to chip gate. You, hey, you better pull the miracles because I ain't doing shit. Effect, bro, you cheat, I'm gonna cheat. Hey, I'm not doing shit else, so <laughs> good bro, luck. <laughs> bro, how do you jam you that good luck. Come on, bro. That's I got people bullshit, helping bro. you. I got people helping you. I, I know. Ain't nobody helping me, bro. He's in effect, man. Ain't nobody helping me. Flop calls. He bet 50. He called. He shoved the turn 315. <laughs> that was dumb as hell, bro. He didn't think one of us had a six. He didn't give a fuck. Even if I what got coins, I'm still going to bet. What do you think I had? I got a boat there. He had nothing. He jammed with nothing. That's what I'm saying, bro. What do you think I had when he shipped into me? He knew I had it. Will that make the vlog, Scotty? Will that make your vlog? Nah, but it'll make yours. <laughs> <laughs> Going wild. Nah, bro. I knew you had it too. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're going to see it on camera. I'm trying so hard not to laugh, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to laugh so hard, bro. I got a, I got a, I flop a boat there. You bet 50? I got a boat there. What oh. I'm supposed to do? Oh, you have a boat. You had a pocket pair? Oh, yeah, I got a pocket pair. I flop a, what I'm bet 50 on? You said on. you had ace king. Yeah, I had ace That's not a boat. Okay, okay. Why the fuck you lying? That's a lying is. motherfucker right now. Oh, <laughs> I had ace king. Right. Just told me. Hey, what do you want? I need to know. Uh, I'm going to let you know. Can I get a color up? <laughs> so you guys just heard the table talk. And you can clearly see that I was enjoying myself after flopping quads. At this point of the night, I'm up around $600 and Scotty is stuck about $300. So that gives us a lead of $900. And now that I have a comfortable lead, it's time to stick to the plan. Make Scotty do the work while I knit sweaters and sit on my hands. And did you know it all is that be in my comments, see me tip the dealer? It never gets shown on camera because I always stack my chips before I tip, so it's always hands later. It's a superstition. I swear, some of you guys just be in the comments saying anything. No dealer will be happy for me to win if I never tipped. Get out of my comments with that I didn't see you tip nonsense. <laughs>
I tip after every hand, no exceptions. And can somebody please tell DJ that Ace King on a 666 board does not give you a boat? Ace high. 10. 10. Come on, you getting the, you having the people wait? Holy shit. How much was that? 500? Five. So he's in for 12. Got a boat of me, Marco. 23 hour lockdown. Look at him, that's the face of the feet. Y'all see him? He put the Ray Bears on for you, boy. No, nah, this is my camera. It's, it's a camera. Oh, the camera? Oh, yo, yo, side off. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, it's the camera. face of the feet. Look at him. Look at him. He's sick. Hey, don't Sick. Hey, if you from the hood, don't celebrate too soon. Hey, when a motherfucker pay you that money before the bed over, that motherfucker come to 60. That's how you want, bro. You pay him a half time to get that money. <laughs> oh, shit. What is it? It make it look like my camera's on. Right in the middle, better. Ray Ban? With the camera. Oh, yeah, the camera. No, no, the, sure. the, the glasses. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ray Ban? This is the Ray Ban camera oh, glasses. I half time gave yeah. me the money I'm for the paper. Right now. Yeah. I took the money. They came back and won. Hey, you, you, you don't never, you don't never celebrate too soon, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, bro, give me my fucking money, bro. Damn. I celebrate too soon. And left the Well, boys and girls, it looks like the five hours is up. And now it's time for the results. You guys just saw a sneak peek of my new camera angle. It's still a work in progress because I didn't have the clear lenses on this day. But let's cash out and see who has to look like a complete idiot on the very next episode. Who has to wear full motorcycle gear at the poker table next week? Let's find out. Start the camera. This is the walk of shame, baby. Let's line up and cash out, baby. Let's see how we did. <laughs> That's good. First one. There you go, Scotty, go first. Go, 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 go,
That's all I cared about. I'm very competitive, and that was my number one goal today. So the, after that quads hand, and I was up around 600, I knew Scotty was, and I knew Scotty was stuck around two, 230, two, 250. So it was an 850 dollar difference. I'm like, look, I'm gonna put it in cruise control, and, I, and Scotty gonna have to do the work. Scotty wasn't able to pull it off. We get the W. We just saw having to win 380 dollars. So that's cool. But the number one goal was to not lose to Scotty because y'all know me. Y'all are getting to know me, but y'all don't really know me. When y'all see how I clown Scotty, it's gonna be classic. Like, y'all will never forget the way I clown Scotty. Like, but anyway, if you if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Till the next time. Y'all don't wanna miss it. Y'all take care. <laughs> There we go. It's not happening. I'm not losing. It's not happening.